Hi guys and welcome back. This is part 3 of my Unreal Engine 4 multiplayer FPS course. If you guys haven't checked out part 1 and 2, links to that will be down in the video description. And yeah guys, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, link to my Discord server and my Instagram page is down in the description as well. So let's get started. So today we are going to be just creating the main menu and maybe setting up the lobby as well. So let's get started. So head into content. One thing that I just wanted to do is or actually let's do that a bit later. So head into blueprints where you have your actual content folder. And I want you guys to create a new blueprint class of type game instance. Game instance and let's just call that BP underscore game instance. Now create a new folder inside of actual content and call that UI and inside of here what we can do is we can go to user interface widget blueprint and let's just call that main menu WB I just like to call uh, put the prefix BP just in case we have a base C++ class we can differentiate between them open that up and over here I don't want to use the default canvas panel you could I'll actually just put a border just in case we want an actual image or something for now I'll just uh, set the brush color to be completely transparent now add in a horizontal box and add in a vertical box oops and just for the sake of alignment I just have one sort of a menu in mind you could of course create your own so if you're not willing to you know make the same menu as I'm doing here you guys could skip ahead and just put the same buttons now just select all of these for those who are following along click on fill and I want this part the vertical box to contain the buttons which we'll have in the main menu I want it to be a little bit towards the left so I'll just set this to 0.6 and I'll set this to let's say 2.5 maybe that's a bit too much so 2.2 maybe or 2 alright we'll look into that later just go ahead and type in border again inside of the palette just click on fill now rather we should be wrapping this vertical box to the border so make the vertical box the child of this border and rename this to buttons uh, VB maybe for vertical box and for this horizontal box just leave that and this one I'll just name it to BG or I'll I'll call it with the full name background alright so once we have that we can go to the buttons vertical box and actually add in our buttons so just drag a button over there just hit ctrl w to copy it over we'll be having four buttons we'll be calling this one play we'll be calling this one let's say friends just to bring up our friends list we'll be calling this options or settings maybe and we'll be calling this one exit all right and let's just add another spacer here and just drag it all the way to the top so that we have space over there set all of these to fill and for the spacer I want to have the fill set to something like 1.5 copy the spacer paste it at the end and let's just set this to something like 2.5 maybe increase this to 3 maybe this one to 3 as well seems fine for now we'll look into it later uh, as I said so click on this border and I like to give it a blackish tint and set the alpha all the way down to 0.25 alright so we'll customize it a bit later click on text in the palette over here and yeah guys if you guys are feeling that I'm going a bit fast somewhere 
feel free to rewind and watch the video at a slow pace and make sure you guys do comment that so that I will go slower in the next one just copy it over on all of the four buttons now just set the padding to zero and now one more thing is you would want to increase the font size so font font size let's make that 40 maybe or 35 change that to something like light I'll I'll show you guys how to import other fonts as well in the upcoming videos set this one to play set this one to what was that friends and change the third one to settings and change the last one to exit alright now one more thing that you would want to do is go ahead and uh, change the background color of these buttons to something a bit more visually pleasing something a bit more dark maybe yeah and set the alpha value down to something like 0.75 and we should be good to go all right so once we have that one thing that i do want to tell you guys is that since we are doing this based on steam one thing that we will be doing is that we'll ensure that the player is always inside a lobby regardless of whether he has to be or not you'll get to know what i mean by that but head into the actual content and where we created a game instance open that up right click and type in event in it so event in it all right guys so inside of the game instance here in event in it so first of all i want to check if we actually are logged into steam so the way we will do that is we'll actually create a macro for this steam bridge does not come with this and there is an issue with it if you guys have tried it out yourself you'll probably know it so go to blueprints create a new macro library and just call this one bp underscore macro library all right open that up and get steam user here and there is a function called be logged on but there is a problem with this if you are not logged in rather than returning false this just crashes your game so I will be showing you guys uh, what happens the crash and I will also show you guys the fix so click on this and over here type in logged in and over here we'll type in not logged in all right just save that and we can call it over here so we didn't name it so is player player logged in to steam all right so is player logged into steam all right and there's one more thing that i want to do is valid steam id this function too doesn't come with the steam bridge plugin so first of all i want to make sure we are logged into steam because again it's going to cause crashes so check if we are logged in so basically we want to copy this over all right whoops and over here i want to add another input of type steam id steam id so rename that to steam id and we want to get it as a string if we are logged in and we want to check the length and if it is equal to 17 I believe yeah it's 17 if that is true then we can assure that it is in fact a valid steam id so plug this in over here valid and not valid all right so what we can do now is plug the false as well to not valid we'll just move this down just keeping things a bit clean here all right so just save that and now if i go ahead and press play 
I'll just save everything. If I press play, we'll just fix this and in the next part we'll create the lobbies. I doubt we can do it in this video. The video is already getting a bit lengthy. I apologize for the delayed upload schedule. I will try to upload more frequently. Alright, so before we press play, we just forgot to do something. So before we press play, go to your project settings and just type in game instance and over here just select your BP game instance and you should be good to go. Now if you press play, your editor will immediately crash. Okay guys, so now we'll be talking about how to fix the crash. Now it's very simple. So if you have installed the plugin directly from the Epic Games Launcher, you would have to go to your Unreal Engine directory or their engine, plugins, marketplace or engine, uh, yeah, market plugins, marketplace. And under that you would find Steam Bridge. Go to source, Steam Bridge and go to public. And over here you should find core, steamuser.h. If you open that up, you would find this file over here the crash is happening over here actually so what's happening is this team user object is not valid so the way you fix it is with a simple if statement so if so we can copy this if steam user is valid we are going to return whatever is there over here so we can cut that just making sure it's formatted else we want to simply return a false all right save that right click and click on build okay guys so the build has indeed succeeded so that was a pretty simple one now head into your project file again and now if you press play you shouldn't be getting any crash and more importantly if you just print out a string and let's just uh, type in not logged in doesn't matter the spelling doesn't matter here uh, logged in and let's just make this red all right and as you can see it shows that we are not logged in and just to make sure that it actually works and it's simply not spitting out not logged in uh, make sure your steam is open in the background now go ahead and launch the game as a standalone game so now you'd see that it prints out logged in so now we know that it works all right guys so that's it for this video hope you guys found it helpful and as always, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, link to my Discord server is in the video description. Also, on the screen, you would find the first video to this course. Make sure you guys do follow along from the start. So, that's it, I guess, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.